Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera line is changing how we think about low-budget cameras. With powerful features and footage quality you typically only see in high-end cinema cameras. But how do you use false color to set the exposure properly for skin tones? Find out in 180 seconds. The BMP CC 4K has so many, so many great pro features packed into it, false color being one of them. But what is false color? False color is essentially just a way to interpret exposure on the screen of a camera. Each color represents a different level of exposure and allows you to quickly see what is underexposed and what is overexposed in your shot. It's an incredibly useful tool to have when quickly trying to nail your exposure. To enable the false color settings in the BMP CC 4K, hit button one on top of the camera. You can also achieve this through the touch screen menu. Now that this feature is enabled, you can see all of the different colors displayed on the in-camera screen as you move the camera around. Now, don't worry. If you record with false color enabled, it will not record over your footage. It's just simply a reference displayed over the footage you are taking. So how do you interpret what the colors mean? This chart here is a great reference as to what each color represents. If your camera is showing purple, it means a loss in black detail. Blue is a near black detail loss. Green is middle gray, which is the midpoint between white and black. Pink is one stop over middle gray. Yellow is near white clipping, and red indicates white clipping in your image. In the Blackmagic user manual, they explain which exposure levels are ideal for skin tones. They say that pink represents optimum exposure for Caucasian skin tones, while green is a great match for darker skin tones. By monitoring the pink or green false color when recording people, you can maintain consistent exposure for their skin tones. Similarly, when elements in your image change from yellow to red, that means they are now overexposed. You can make adjustments to your shutter speed or angle, ISO, aperture, or use ND filters to get proper exposure set using false color, just like you would with any other camera. Note that there are some interesting things that ISO will do from a dynamic range standpoint to your footage when you change it. We will be covering that in detail in a future episode. While you should follow these exposure guidelines for black magic, don't always blindly rely on them. Every circumstance is different, and sometimes you can get interesting looks when you push the camera to its limits. Use these guidelines as a base to work from, and be free to experiment with exposure levels in different situations just to see how your camera responds to it. And that is how you properly expose a BMP CC 4K using false color. If you liked today's episode, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Until next time, this is John Owens with Frame Voyager.